What's up, amigos? I just got home from work and noticed on my doorstep, package ferry arrived. Looking forward to seeing what's inside this thing. Let's open it up. Forgive my mess, by the way. I'm not a very organized individual and I'm, I can't help but to make a mess. Some say that's a sign of intelligence. Uh, I don't consider myself that wise, but who knows. Uh, let's see what we got here. Made by Drag Specialties, FL style speedometer. And brand R freaking new. Well, maybe this will help to keep me out of trouble. I bought a speedometer before I went on my trip to Texas just because I wanted to be able to go through these little towns in Louisiana where the cops like to pull you over for going one mile over the speed limit. So I bought this thing right here, some no-name brand. As you can see, the speedometer is stuck on 135. It didn't take me long, about 600 miles, and the speedometer just took a dump. But I figured instead of buying another POS speedometer like this, being that this gas tank already has an indention in here for the mounting of a dash style speedometer, I figured I'd just go ahead and buy parts and build a speedometer one piece at a time. You know, nothing to do with the song, by the way. I got it one piece at a time, and it didn't cost me a dime. You'll know it's me when I come really? through your town. Really? Seriously? Not right now. I'm, I'm trying to make a video. Can you just chill? Thank you. Anyway, as I was saying, but I'm going to build me a speedometer one piece at a time, and it looks like all my parts have come in. You got the base plate fits right in here the bolt holes line up on the tank just fine as you can see these two holes here there's some threaded holes already in there i put bolts here and bolts here i have a a dash that style of dash and it goes over top of this i may find a, a, a dummy ignition switch to, that to fit in that little hole to, just to cover that hole up and not sure what to do about this hole and that hole and that hole and but or even to use this thing at all i do have another dash cover and which doesn't have any holes in it at all which is kind of cool so i don't know choices 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 but uh, if i end up going with this then i would have to find some some kind of way to fasten this thing down there's no holes in the in the housing except for right here and the last part i was missing was this thing right here so this is supposed to fit on top of that base plate like that so as you can see this has a trip odometer this pos didn't have any trip odometer but it is what it is like i said you get what you paid for i can't really remember how much i paid for that speedo or that speedo right there but i know it's uh, drag specialties the, these guys make pretty good aftermarket stuff i like them so much i even use their brand of oil and that bike and this bike i even use their batteries see what it's going to be like when I get this thing put together. Okay, so now I think I have this thing relatively figured out or figured out not at all. But looks like there will be some modification to be made. This dash looks like it's going to give me some trouble. Let me try to put that on there for you guys. There's a gap that won't close. It's kind of the same over here. I'll try this. I'll try this one here and it seems to work a lot better not as much of a gap but I can put something there to close that off and it looks kind of okay as you can see that the my heritage has got some kind of a rubber thing on the bottom of its dash I'm thinking I can make something like that for this it looks like I'm gonna have to drill a hole on this thing right here so that the stud that comes up from here that I have taken off We'll go through here and I'll have to find a nut to go on that other side. Let's see how badly I can mess this up. Well, that looks center enough. I guess that'll work. I guess not bad, too bad for eyeballing. So let's see how well it lines up with everything else.
perfect. I can't believe that worked out. Now let's see if this thing really works. Well, it appears to be working. I am very pleased with that. If, uh, if it was working right, it's even better. I mean, would you look at that? Actually going 50 miles an hour, it says. I don't know how noisy it is uh, talking to you guys in this helmet. I don't normally wear full face helmets. I hate them. I like the wind in my face. But it's the only way I can talk to you guys when I'm going down the road. And it's also my first time using this setup, uh, this, this microphone on my GoPro. Hopefully next time I will have my uh, GoPro mounted on my helmet somehow or, what, or whatever. And this red light never, ever, ever picks up motorcycles. It doesn't pick up the tramp. It'll pick up my big bike. And oh crap, would you look at that? I get a green light. I guess they fixed it. Or maybe I held my mouth just right. It says I'm doing 55. It kind of feels like it. And as usual, why do I always seem to find these guys? They always think the speed limit's 10 miles or 15 miles under the speed limit, I guess. Let's see how fast. 40 miles an hour. Yeah. I guess this thing works. That, that sounds about right. Let's see if I can get around these guys. Yep, good deal. Well, I'm very surprised that this worked out on this deal right here. I mean, my goodness. It actually uh, adds to the look of the bike. It kind of looks a little bit more, uh, I guess, finished is the right word for it. Yeah, I think I like it. It makes me feel like I'm more inside the motorcycle. I feel like I'm in a cockpit. This is kind of cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. And if you happen to like the video, man, just hit like and subscribe. And maybe I'll catch you on the next time. All right. Bye now.